All right, it's 6.43 here on this uh, Wednesday morning, and if I am correct, I think you were supposed to be off starting today, right, or tomorrow. This morning was yeah. supposed to be the last day yeah. I worked before. I yeah, supposed to be getting married in Asheville. Yeah, so. everything is fine with the fiancé. Not so much with the venue because you've seen everything that they've gone through over there. That is true. I've talked to people and been like, oh, you know, my wedding got canceled. <laughs> people People's why? first reaction are, oh, I'm so sorry. They think like, <laughs> yeah. we are you okay? Up yeah. or we ended yeah. it. Or we're like, all good. Off? No, yeah, we're, we're still getting married this weekend, but yeah. yeah. I was supposed to be down in Asheville, obviously a lot of the devastation and flooding that happened down there. Uh, we just thought it was the right choice to cancel it. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear from our venue for a very long time. So it kind of led us to making the decision that, okay, we're gonna have to reschedule the wedding in Asheville. This is from that venue there is in the mountains, a beautiful barn venue. Thankfully the venue is fine. The people who host it are fine. Mm. Uh, but there are a lot of people who are not fine in that area because their houses have been destroyed. So our thoughts definitely go out to them. As Asheville is just a very special place to us. It's where we both went to college. Uh, we both played soccer there. We love the food culture, the art scene there. It's a very eclectic town uh, with beautiful mountain views like that. It was just so sad to see all the areas that we used to go through through college. Our first date spot mm -hmm. got destroyed. You know, there's there's several things and memories that we'll carry for a long time. And we'll still be back in Asheville, but we just really want to uh, tribute Asheville and, and really give them some credit for what they're going through right now. You guys have really been able to pivot quickly because it's something, I mean, you're supposed to get yeah. married Saturday. Yeah. And, you know, this happened a few days ago and you have to, you know, coordinate plans. You have family and friends coming from different places. And so I'm sure you and your fiance have been yeah. really busy. Yeah. We spent two years to plan the wedding yeah. and now we're kind of deep planning it and mm -hmm. now trying to scramble to do something here in Milwaukee. But we are super thankful for our friends and family who have been very flexible. We have people flying in last second from across the country our kind of closest family and friends to celebrate with us yeah. Yeah. in Milwaukee. And so. you were you were watching and I know as the as the days led up there to last yeah. weekend I remember as a meteorologist going this is this is not going to be good and then I remember seeing you in the parking lot on Monday I could kind of see it on your face and yeah. then we got in here and he said yeah it, it's not going to happen. Well so. we could tell cuz we I mean yeah. we were trying to be positive yeah. we were like you'll be fine and the meteorologist so was guys, like no <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like it's yeah. not going to happen. This is a once in a generation type of yeah. incident you know, yes. thing that happened there so yeah, we hope that they recover well there and good to hear that the venue is doing well and yeah. the people around will, will get better hopefully. Yeah.